Roger. Excited to be getting out? Mr. Pyong, will you please tell me about this latest letter I saw from the district attorney? Yeah, uh, Orleans County Sheriff Department is suing my family, myself and my son, for the damages that was caused, which I had no control of. I did not know he was going to do it. He stole the tractor. He worked for me that day. We was not working with the equipment. It was all parked at a farm. He hauls some junk on his park towing, and I wouldn't even let him take my tractor to load his junk. So there's no way, if I'd have known that this is what he was gonna do, I would have tried to stop him. I would have called them and told them he was on his way. But I had no idea at all. And I know he doesn't understand the hardship that he's caused his family, not just me and mom, but his whole family and the harassment that we have had. And now to raise money to defend my family, not only my son, but my myself, so I can stay in the business I am in, it's gonna be pretty near impossible. So now you, you have to get a lawyer and defend yourself because the district attorney is saying that you're responsible for the damages. I'm not saying the district attorney, I'm saying the Orleans County Sheriff Department. We were served with papers by their lawyer out of Burlington. So is that, is, so what is that, is that a, a civil suit or? Civil suit. Okay, so you're being sued by the police department we're in being, a civil I, suit. I am being sued by the Orleans County Sheriff Department. And they seem to think that you had prior knowledge and approval of this. They had said that I gave him permission and that I shouldn't have trusted him. I tell you what, he's probably one of the best operators around. And no, at no time would I have ever expected him to do something like this. No way. Because if I'd have known, I would have tried to have done something to stop it. Because that's that's he could have been killed doing that. He definitely could have been. They had permission to shoot him. And on top of being killed, he and then he'd he go to jail. My tractor, where it cost me a lot of money to fix it, he goes to jail, and I think any person in their right mind would know that me as a father would not have gave him permission to do that. So there's there's no way at all that you feel responsible for what Roger no. did, and you had no previous knowledge of what Roger did. Nowhere near, none at all. I mean, it's because he knows he's not allowed to drive my tractors. He drives them in the field, and that is it. And the tractor he took—that's my own personal one. I run 99% of the time. He drives it very little, and a very rare would he drive it on the road. Because we, most of our work, we cross the road, that's it. Most of it's right straight on the farm itself. Yeah. So, but that's my tractor, you know. It's a lot of money, $200,000 machine back in 08, and you just can't afford to replace them. Yeah. And it's a small world, and business is hard, and money's tight. You and know? Give us some examples of what you use that tractor for. That tractor spreads manure, and it chops. It does all the field chopping and it plows with a big, big set of plows. 
mainly that's what that tractor does. So that tractor's like your bread and butter, it seems. That's, that tractor's my living. Without that tractor, I have no jobs. So it'd be foolish on the face of it for you to just send your tractor in oh, it's to crazy. be destroyed. It's crazy. You no no person in their right mind, or no father in their right mind, or boss in their right mind, would give that permission. Especially when you find out that God, they could shoot your son. Would a father want his tractor destroyed and his son shot? Come on, wake up, people. Now, when's the first time you heard about the alleged incident? We were served last Friday. Uh, when did you first hear about the alleged incident with the tractor? We were going to, to a funeral. My nephew had got shot. I was home taking a shower. Came out of the shower. I was shaving. And my son-in-law called, said the cops are after your tractor. And I said, you're crazy. The tractor's at the Andy's farm. So I said, I'll go check and make sure. Well, I got over there, and the tractor was gone. And before I got back home, the cops had called me. Well, um, well, today we got Roger out on bail. How, how are you feeling about that? I'm feeling good in one way, but very uptight and nervous in another way. Uh, it's a lot of responsibility, and I don't know where his head is at right now. I, I, I got to pay very sharp attention and try to find a way to help him so that this episode will not happen again. But I'd like to thank the people that have tried to support us and hope that many more will. Well, sir, thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome. What is it? It's Roger Leeds County. Oh, cool. Let me wait, wait, wait. Oh. Roger draw down. <laughs> Andrew has said that if you want It's the first time I heard that. <laughs> Not don't go far from the tree, huh? So Roger Peon, it is a pleasure to meet you, sir. You too. And uh, there's a lot of us that are really, really glad that you're out of jail and that you're back with your family. And we'd just like to know if there's anything you'd like to say to your supporters out here in the world. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, it's been a long ride. <laughs> how, 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 how was your time in jail? Uh, it was long. Rough a little bit, but it was jail. Yeah. You got through it all right. Got through it. Ain't no place to go. Yeah. And you're and you're home now. It must be it must feel pretty good to sit in the grass and be back home. And yeah, no fence. <laughs> no fence. No barbed yeah. wire fence. Well, I just want you to know, and there's a lot of folks that uh, really support you and really care about what you're going through personally. And uh, a lot of people have asked me to to just to just tell you that man that you've got a lot of support out there. There's a lot of people that love you. There's a lot of people that care. There's a lot of people waiting for me to get home and put this video up so they get to see what you look like in person. So I wanted to just make sure that you got that message of support from all of us. Thank you. Thanks for all the support. You're, you're welcome. Need it all. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to need some support. Now they're going after your dad, I hear. Yep. Uh, yeah. Do you, think there's, do you think that's fair at all that they go after your dad? No. My dad didn't really know. I borrowed the tractor. He didn't know anything about any of that. So there's nope. no way he was responsible for anything. Nope. Not at all. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for talking to me, Roger. Yep. And we're going to continue to fight for your freedom, and we're going to continue to uh, uh, raise money for your defense. We Thank managed you. to get some for bail, but, you know, this is going to be a long, hard fight. And uh, once you know, there's a lot of us that are going to be right there with you. Thank you. And thanks for the support. Thank you, Roger. And you guys, please put that. Yeah, is that his dog? That's your dog, Roger? Yeah. Did you call him? Yes, he is. Good boy. Good boy. Did you guys see your dad? He starts jumping up and down on the bed all excited. Perfect. Uh,